Okay, I have a set of panoramic images here. There's four shots that were made on a nodal ninja head with the lens at 12 millimeters on a full frame sensor camera. And then I pulled back, stepped back, pulled my tripod back and took a handheld shot looking straight down as you can see of the ground. Now in this case there's a very bold distinctive pattern on the ground. In cases like that it can be very easy to stitch the nadir shot in PT GUI. So let's give it a try. Now normally it's better to just add the around shots to the PT GUI project and get those aligned and then bring in the nadir shot but in a situation like this it can work to load them all in at once so let's do that select all drop them all into a new PT GUI project and I'm not going to do anything except hit align images and there it is it looks like the nadir is in the proper place although you can see that my feet are in the shot here so we'll mask that out but the advantage of just doing all the images at once and hitting a line before masking or doing any control points is it can give you an idea of how much work is involved and you don't need to, uh, in that case you won't waste time adding manual control points if you don't have to. So let's go to the mask tab here and then we'll click on the nadir shot. Now down here make sure the red um, is selected red will um, exclude things from the panorama and then I've got the pencil tool selected to adjust uh, the size of the brush you can move this pencil slider back and forth or you can move the um, you can hit the bracket keys on your keyboard to change the brush size so I'm going to start at my feet and just draw around we just need the center here where the tripod was and I remember about where that where that was and then go down here and click on the paint bucket uh, fill tool and we'll fill the sides there so now only the center will be added none of this other stuff around here um, now let's um, I'll hit command E for panorama editor or control E on Windows and as you can see uh, my feet are now gone and things look good um, there are some stitching errors I see up here, but right now we're just going to talk about the nadir. So back here we can click on Project Assistant, Create Panorama. Alright, now here's our stitched pano. So I'm going to open this with PT GUI Viewer. Now you can use the Z key to zoom out, A key to zoom in, and it looks like the nadir uh, looks like it patched perfectly, as far as I can tell. So that's an example of the easy way to add a nadir. Now, in most cases, it's not this easy, but if you want to just drop all your images in and hit a line, you may get lucky. Okay, I have a new set of panoramic images here. Four shots around, taken on a nodal ninja head. And for the fifth shot, I pulled the tripod away, stepped back a few feet, and took a handheld shot of the floor, as you can see, with the camera pointed straight down. Now, in this case, there's a pattern that repeats, so these squares look very similar to each other. Now, I think this might confuse PT GUI in stitching the nadir image compared to the last stitch we did that had a very bold distinctive pattern that PT GUI was able to easily seamlessly stitch without very much work. So let's give it a try. Select all five images and drop them into a new PT GUI project and I'll hit align images. Okay not so good. Obviously we have a very warped horizon here uh, at the bottom right, you can see my feet, which is not a big deal. We could mask that, but more importantly, I can see that the floor is not stitching properly uh, with the nadir. It's a very bad stitch, so this one will not work so easily. 
So let's go to the Source Images tab on the left. Select the Nader image, and I'll hit the Delete key to get rid of it. Now I'll hit Command E for the Panorama Editor, or Control E on Windows. And up at the top menu, click on Project, Align Images. And that looks much better. Um, I can see my verticals are not perfectly uh, square, but right now let's just focus on the nader. So this is a good stitch to start with. So now we'll need to add the nader back in. So click on the Source Images tab, and we'll drop the nader back in. Now we'll go to the Optimizer tab, and then click on the Advanced button, top left. And then over in the top right, use control points of, you want to deselect the nader shot, which in this case is five. Go to the bottom left, and we'll hit Run Optimizer. Hit OK. Now back up to use control points of, and check the nader shot. And we'll go to the left, and for Optimize per image under Viewpoint, select Optimize and this is called Viewpoint Correction. Down at the bottom, hit Run Optimizer again, and OK. Now back to the Panorama Editor, Command or Control E. OK, now you can see uh, the Nader shot is not where it should be, but all we have to do is align the images again. So back up to the Project menu and Align Images. And that looks very good, as far as I can tell. Now I do see my feet over here, so we will mask that. Click on the Mask tab on the left, and then I'll click on my Nader image. Now at the bottom of the screen, I have red selected. Anything painted red will be excluded from the final panorama. I've got the Pencil tool selected. You can adjust the brush size either using the bracket keys on the keyboard or using the slider here down at the bottom. And I'm just going to start at my feet and just draw a circle, leaving enough room where the tripod was. And then back down here, I'll select the paint bucket fill tool and click outside of the red circle to fill that. So only this center part from the Nader image will be added. And let's hit Command E again for the Panorama Editor, and that is looking good. I'm gonna, since I, um, and that is looking good. So let's export this. We'll hit Project Assistant, Create Panorama, and again, Create Panorama. All right, now here's our stitched pano. I'll right click on it and hit open with PT GUI viewer. And Z key to zoom out, A key to zoom in. And that looks very good to me. I don't see any stitching errors in the floor. So that's all there is to it.